Dee, well, you had an amazing assignment. You sat down with True Superstars uh, not too long ago. You took part in, uh, was it a practice? Yeah, they had, so they practice uh, pretty much every day as they were gearing up for, this is the Women's National Wheelchair Basketball Team, of course. Uh, they're gearing up for the Parapan Games, which start this weekend. Their first game is on Saturday. So about three weeks ago, we went by the Pan Am Center and just really took in the practice and the scrimmage. So they were having a scrimmage, so basically getting game-like practice going on. And it's big. They don't want just gold. This is for the Olympics as well, This right? is it. So they want to get gold, obviously, at the pair of Pan Am Games, but top two qualify for Tokyo Paralympics next year. So it's a big deal for them. Uh, the team is great, great ladies on this team, talented, athletic women on this team. Co-captain Cindy Willett is the leader of it, and we sat down with her. And the other co-captain, Juice, as well. To chat Juice! All about Juice. It. Juice yes, stars. I'll tell you about Juice's nickname okay. in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> You've been representing Canada for many years now. I'm not calling you old because the other teammates are calling you old. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> she's a great teammate. Um, she's always like pushing to be better every single day, and that's what helps us in practices and games. And she has so much experience internationally, so it's so helpful to have her. She's just very composed in the big games, and she's just really speedy and aggressive, and that really helps us. <laughs> been doing this for a while what's it like just to go out there each and every time and represent the country uh well yeah so 13 years um it's an honor every time i wear like number seven canada across my chest like you represent your country like so many athletes wants to be in your spot and you're the one in your spot with 11 ladies so it's super fun fans of basketball in general that are watching wheelchair basketball want to support the team what do they need to know about this sport uh, well, we're athletes, we're basketball athletes, so it's really similar game as stand-up basketball. The only difference is like there's a lot of contact with our chair, so I think that makes it fun. Uh, but yeah, it's super fun to watch. It's a fast-paced game, and we're super aggressive, super confident. I have the utmost respect for the skill, the strength, the talent that it takes to play what you're playing. But I do have a question. What is considered a foul? Oh my gosh, there's there's a lot of little things that can be fouls. Depends on the ref. Because <laughs> I feel like this is more aggressive and maybe a little more rough than stand-up basketball. Oh, 100%, yeah. 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 It's so aggressive and physical, and it's not only body contact, it's chair contact. You're constantly getting hit every second, every push, so that's why we have to be physical and strong, because we got to play through that. I think it's a more aggressive and more rough game in wheelchair basketball than it is stand-up basketball? Uh, well, I personally have never played stand-up, so I can't really speak that, but I know, like, we play hard with the chair, like, it's, you can hear the contact, we go down hard, and we just get back up and keep pushing. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most uh, for these games? Uh, we really play, like, our best basketball as a team, like, we got a good core, like, I think we really can, like, get that gold medal, and, like, we gotta, we gotta be strong. Be a little braggadocious right now. How good are the chances? How good do you feel going into it? I feel very confident going into this tournament. Um, it's all about how we play and how we got to represent who we are in our country. And I think Canada's great at doing that. And, you know, it's all about hustle, and that's what we are about. We look forward to seeing you all kick some butt. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Juice. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks. Juice yeah, is my don't favorite. Favorite. Juice. Yeah, so her name's Erin Young, but she's like, hey, what's up? I'm Juice. Right away. I'm like, how do you get that nickname, Juice? <laughs> so she used to play stand-up basketball. She was a great uh, varsity athlete, played a Division One basketball in the States. And, of course, circumstances have brought her to this point, and she's embraced it, and she said, my very second game, second game, put us out there, no subs. First half, I was just struggling, struggling. Yeah. Halftime, someone gave her a juice box. Like a little kid, she sat on the court, and she was just like, Drank the juice box, second half on Super fire, like 24 <laughs> points, nine <laughs> boards, juice. and was just on. So ever whatever since that company then, is, needs to sign yeah, her. Right, ever right. since then, they called her. Her nickname has been Juice, so that's how she she's known. That's but what uh, she needed. first game Saturday against yep. Columbia. I want to send a shout out to the entire team: Rosalie, Elodie, Tam, Tamara, Hussan, Maude, Tara, Sandrine, Katie, Erica, Danielle, and of course the co-captains, Cindy, Juice. Go let go us, thank you for letting us be there. I mean, they're good, they good look solid good. Team. Yep. Biggest competition will be Brazil and the U.S. As of always, course, yeah. uh, but they got silver at the Pair Pan Am Games here in Toronto uh, four years ago. A lot of the same members are part of this team, so. They look good. They're confident. Somebody send over some of that juice. Yes. To juice. That's it. So good shouts luck. to all our athletes that are representing the Pair Pan Am Games yes. uh, coming up this weekend. And a good luck to you all. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah.